finger. That's hot. You want to clutch it? No. Welcome back to Russell's Rad Reviews. Today we've got a special video for you guys. Cupcake's here to help you review Van Halen's debut album from 1978, Van Halen. So let's get into this. This is Van Halen's debut album released on February 10th, 1978. The album peaked at number 19 on the Billboard Top 200. The label for this record is Warner Brothers. It was produced by Ted Templeman. And the singles, get ready for this guys, you better sit down because there's a lot of them. Singles from this album. The first one, You Really Got Me and Atomic Punk, released on January 28th, 1978. The next one, Running With The Devil and Eruption, released on May 6th, 1978. The third, Jamie's Crying and I'm The One, released on May 16th, 1978. On Fire and Jamie's Crying, released in September 1978 in Japan. We're going global now. And the last one, the fifth and final single off of this album is Ain't Talk About Love and Feel Your Love Tonight, released on October 25th, 1978. Now that we've got all the smart stuff taken care of, let's talk about the artwork. John, start it off. The logo is sweet. Other than that, I mean, it's pretty basic. You just got the four guys in a dark room with their instruments. It's whatever. I, I really, really like this album cover. I'm not sure why. It's so iconic. You got that like late '70s. To me, that looks like it's like a '60s like emblem on a car. This is one of the best rock albums ever, and it's one of the best debut albums for any band ever. It's fabulous. I mean, that that's pretty sweet too. That's classic. I think it really captures the band live. I think that's what they were going for with this. But so you've got your. Sim similar album to the one on the front there. I think they're actually identical. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing. I think it's the same thing. And then you flip it over in the back, and you've got pictures of the band. Really cool, really cool sleeve. It's glossy too, which is really nice. So for artwork, what are you thinking for a score? For me, I mean, it is really iconic. I'll give it like an eight out of 10. I think that's fair. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Because I mean, granted it was, it was a debut album, but there's covers up there that are much better. Yeah. But I mean, the logo, sweet yeah and then I mean the guy and this is simple but it's very good so it definitely attracts your attention for yeah. sure this is a freaking thick record so I'm guessing it is a first first pressing we're gonna scale rate this on the scale so this scores uh, this is like a 4.5 out of 5 on the thick scale so it's a thick <laughs> you've got your regular Warner Brothers label here or regular for this album I guess at the time all right so well the album starts off with Running With The Devil, followed by Eruption, followed by You Really Got Me, followed by Ain't Talking About Love, followed by I'm The One. And I like all these songs are stand out on this side. The only song I could pass on is Eruption, and it's because, I mean, I like it. It's a good, like, it's a good song, there's just no lyrics. Um, How would you put lyrics over that? It doesn't yeah, need I know. lyrics. It's its own thing. I wouldn't say it's a inspiration for me personally, but I know there are millions of guitar players that started playing because of Eruption and the whole album. But Eruption is like that. It's so good. You really got me as a cover. It's a really freaking good song. They actually made the song famous. I mean, the Kinks, the Kinks played it. And made the Kinks. It. The Kinks. The Kinks played it. And it was all right, and these guys got it and knocked it out of the park. Amazing song. Uh, Ain't talking about love. Really good song. Um, I'm the one. Love that song. Really good song. So nothing so far. It's 10 out of 10 on this side. For song. Uh, side two. Jamie's crying. Followed by Atomic Punk. Followed by Feel Your Love Tonight. Followed by Little Dreamer. Followed by Ice Cream Man. Followed by On Fire. There's no songs on here really that I can complain about. Yeah, either. no. I love Ice Cream Man. That's Atomic a good song. Atomic Punk is so good. Jamie's crying. I love that song. So I mean. Definitely, definitely worth picking this album up. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten for songs. Yeah, it's near perfect. Yeah, it's 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 a really guitar heavy album, and I think that's why I can't give it a perfect ten. I mean, I love the guitars on this, but Alex's drumming is also like that is huge in the sound, and the bass tone. That bass is super loud. Yeah. I mean, running with the devil. Come on. You like, really got me. Yeah. Yeah. It's just it's. For me, it's not all like the music that I listen to all the time. I like Van Halen a lot. It's a really good album. Seriously, pick it up. Check it out on Spotify. 
Sound of Vinyl, I know, is reprinting this one. Definitely check them out. Sound of Vinyl, sponsor us, please. It's classic. It's it's near perfect. And honestly, I would say this is one of the most like consistent albums we reviewed. Oh yeah, for like, sure. Like all the songs sound different enough, but it, it's all you can tell it's all from this one album. It's yeah, it's really, consistent. really good. Well, it's because they stuck to guitars and a lot of guitars, a lot of drums. Right. And yeah. It's, every it's everything on this album is to eleven. Yeah, whether it's the vocals or the drums or the bass or the guitar. You want to talk about how it's held up today? Because, I mean, you hear all these songs in movies, commercials, on the radio. This album is everywhere. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is there's two standout songs that like you don't have to know who Van Halen is. You'll hear them and be like, yeah, I know that's Van Halen. It's Running with the Devil and You Really Got Me from the, from this album. I mean, you don't have to, like you just know that it's them when you listen to it. And then there's the other songs that you know. You have to be a little bit of a fan to appreciate um, and know. I give it an eight out of ten for how it looks today. I'm gonna go with a nine. I think it's it's so solid that it's it's in pop culture. I mean, everybody knows not every song on the album, but pretty close. So it, yeah, it's definitely in pop culture. I just um, if you don't listen to hard rock, actually, you know, it's it's hard because like Brad Paisley. Does pop for teacher yeah, I've seen and, that, and live shows yeah. and he's country, so it's it's. And I actually, I you went up to a nine for this. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna actually give it a nine. I, I kind of stick to that point where you kind of have to be a fan to appreciate some of the other song tracks on this album. Um, I, I can agree with that. Yeah. But it's it's not an album that you should shy away from. If you just if you like one song in this album, pick it up because yeah, yeah. you'll listen to it and you'll like them all eventually. It's a really good album. It's one of the one of the best albums I think we've reviewed so yeah. far. Um, but with that said, I, I think that just about wraps up the video for today. I'm I'm out of things to say about the album. Do you have anything else you want to say about it? Just, just like you said, if you like one song on this album, you'll like them all. Mm -hmm. Just pick it up. It's definitely one of those albums. Like I, I'm that way with albums. If there's one song on it, I'll buy the whole album just to have it, so we can do these reviews. Definitely go out and buy it. Consider getting a reprint. If you're having a party, just put the album on. Yeah. Get it going. Good album. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Like or dislike the video. Leave us a comment. Let us know how we're doing. Check us out on Snapchat. John's going to put the thing right here somewhere. Uh, check us out on Instagram. It's uh, linked in our cover photo on our, Insta our YouTube page. Just click the button. It'll take you right to our Instagram. Instagram. Send us an email if you guys want to talk or have any uh, questions about records or business inquiries or whatnot. And we will see you guys in the next review. Thanks for tuning in.